Shalom, shalom. Welcome, you guys, to my new series, uh, Anatsarim's Toolkit, Preparations for the Last Days. Um, I wanted to come on uh, while I was in mm, sort of wilderness, not really. <laughs> What's that part? But um, I've been praying and asking Abba, how can I really help people in these last days? How can I give them quick little snippets of, you know, practical advice that would help prepare them for the times that we are living in and the times that are coming upon us very quickly? I, I feel like many are still walking around. Many, even, even Christians, believers, I feel like they are just like, okay, this is... Um, this time and you know we're not quite there yet so I would say I would challenge you to examine your life and see if you're ready if you're prepared um, not just you know physically but also mentally spiritually are you prepared are you ready i mean bottom line could you live here behind me if you had to this was the refuge where you had to go to ensure the safety of yourself and your family you know so anyway this series is going to be called a Nazarene's toolkit and what it is just practical practical steps you can take now to prepare yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, every which way possible. Because Abba, our Father, wants us, his beloveds, to be ready, to be ready, to be prepared, to be walking in obedience to him day after day after day. Not to be caught off guard. We're to be watchmen in these last days, correct? So what is today's advice in this short little video? Well, it's the very first thing you must do. First, if you do not know Yahushua HaMashiach, or otherwise known as Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior, then you need to accept him into your heart as your personal Lord and Savior, the one and only begotten Son of the Most High. That's step one. Number two, well, you cannot do anything. You will not survive five minutes more in this world if you do not trust him. Trust in the Most High with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, because he is your protection. He's your protector. So of course, you know, we must have complete trust in him, not just for ourselves, but for our family, for what is coming, for what is happening right now in our day-to-day -day life as we see it, as we look around. We must surrender every day over to him, surrender everything we have, life included, over to the Most High, because we have been told to do that, and it is an act of obedience. So if you're joining me in the obedience revolution, then that is the first thing that you must do. Learn to trust him day after day after day with everything, everything, everything. And so, in this little short video, I will leave you with those two things. very first thing you must do is accept Yahushua HaMashiach as your beloved Savior, the one and only begotten Son of the Most High God. Okay? Because once you do, your life will transform and change. I promise you that. And secondly, you must learn to trust your Abba Daddy. Trust Him. Trust his plan, trust his purposes, trust him in every single area and aspect of your life. Okay? So, I would say, if you enjoyed this little video and you'd like me to continue on this journey of bringing you things from a Nazarene's toolkit, survival for the last days, then I would ask that you would consider donating a gift to this ministry. Because it is a last days ministry that operates out of Acts 2 and Joel 2 and 3. And you can do so by following the link below. 
Uh, it's paypal.me backslash junkie gypsy. And yes, I am a gypsy because we are not of this world, though we are in it. And every donation matters. It makes a huge difference in my life because I do not dwell in one habitation. I bounce around here and there to wherever the most high suits to put me, at least at this point, because <laughs> he's teaching me trust, 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 trust. So uh, yeah, I totally appreciate it. I love you. I pray for you. And I am praying for you in these last days. Shalom, shalom.